What's up guys, Sam back here with a tutorial today. Now uh, as you can tell by the title description and this is probably the reason why you click on this video, you want to learn, uh, you just want to learn programming a little bit. I'm not going to delve into like actual like programming like like not I'm just going to I'm just going to go over the basis of Panda 3D, which is the engine that created uh, Disney games such as Toontown Online. Um, it's the game that runs Toontown Rewritten, uh, Toontown Infinite, all that. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Online, Pix the, the Pixie World game that they had. I don't really know, but I'm just going in this tutorial series. I'm just going to be going over, you know what, uh, what to, it's like the tutorial is about the uh, Panda 3D game engine and how to use it. And so we're just gonna start off with the basics here. So I'm just gonna open up Google Chrome real quick. We're gonna install what uh, my favorite IDE, the personal IDE, the IDE I use. So I'm gonna search PyCharm. Um, it is a Python. It is a Python IDE that I absolutely love. I used to use a program called Genie, but uh, ever since I found PyCharm, PyCharm, it's just very good. It's very so much better. It's very smart and it's just very efficient. I love it so much. And so you just go and pull up PyCharm. But that, just keep in mind that you can use any IDE you want. Um, if you don't know what IDEs are, you might as well just follow this tutorial on what I'm saying. Um, so go ahead and press download now, which on here. Now I'm on Windows. They also have OS X and Linux. So if you want that, um, I if you want the professional version, you get a 30-day free trial. I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's pretty good. I've never really used a professional. I always use Community because it's free. And but Community works how I want it to work, and I have no problem with that. So we're gonna let that download for a minute. Now keep in mind that the Panda 3D. All right, guys, it's done installing here. Now uh, I'm just gonna click Finish real quick, and we can exit out of here. Don't worry about that. You can see it right here on my desktop. JetBrains PyCharm Community. Go ahead and double click that, and it'll send you open. It'll open the screen. Alright guys, so as you can see when I opened my program up, uh, I did have files already here, I already have a folder already set up, that's because I previously installed it and I just, and I already set it up and already use it, and I uninstalled it, and now I just want to go through the tutorial with you guys with me installing it, so I figured it's going to be easier. Alright, so what you what you guys want to do is first you want to create a folder on your desktop, if you don't already have one, so go ahead and just drag that down a little bit. Click new, right click, new folder, here's a new folder right there. That's going to be your Panda 3D folder, you can go ahead and title it whatever, I'm just going to title it Tut, I don't know why, tutorial I guess. And so uh, in this folder you're going to want to have all the face files for the game. Um, I will leave a link in the description below for those face files for you to download. Um, they come, I'll probably include uh, 0 through 15. Um, for those of you who don't know, you probably know the original 3 through 13, but 15 has all of the streets and all of the uh, playgrounds that are fully designed and everything. Everything's already in it. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you an example of what I mean. Let me find my folder. Uh, here goes phase 15, uh, hood, and daisy gardens. I'm going to pull that up real quick. As you can see, the whole daisy garden is right here. That's for every street and hood. Or every street and playground, we say hood because it says hood right there. Anyway, so you have your folder called Tut, whatever you called it. Go to File, New Project. Now your location, you're going to want to select that folder location right there. So go into your desktop and when your desktop, and find that folder called it Tut right there. Press OK. Now uh, find your uh, you find your Python interpreter. It might I'm not sure if it auto selects that thing. I'm not sure how I do. I set it up. But if it's not auto-selected, you can just go in your settings, add local, and you can just find your uh, Panda 3D uh, folder, go into the Python folder within that, and then find this python.exe, go ahead and right-click that, press OK, and then it should load up right there, and once that's done, press create. I'm going to help open this, it shouldn't say the open in new window or open in current window, it doesn't really matter. And so there you go, you're all set up. Uh, once it's all loaded up, I'm going to show you my project when it's all loaded up. So when it's all loaded up, it should have every file within the within the tut folder selected right here. So like, as you can see, all these face files will show up, and you like you can just browse through it all. It's pretty easy. And there's audio. You can see all that stuff. I mean, I'm not too sure. I haven't really played around with opening the files within this program, but uh, I'll have to play around with that sometime. But yeah, and so uh, just to see if everything works, we can go ahead and and just create a new file. Right click on the folder. Click right click on the uh, the general folder like the tut folder and then click uh, new right or 
highlight over new, I'm sorry, and then click Python file, and name it whatever you want, let's call it Hello World because that's the basic program for starting anything. And so, uh, let's just do a simple command, print hello world. If you don't know what print means, print is just outputs the words and the quotes. So, print, print, I'm working, bam. And then you want to go ahead and right click hello world. On the, on the left side, click right click the file and press hello world right there, run hello world. As you can see, it works, it prints out I'm working. Now, and now if you notice in the top right corner right here, there's now a hello world right here. So if you want to run the program again, let's say you want to change the text, say I'm cool. You can go ahead and press this play button now and it auto, and auto, auto runs this hello world file for you. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, you can also install many plugins and whatnot. I have not really delved into that much. But yeah, this is it for this video, guys. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for the next uh, videos, next upcoming videos. I will have more tutorials out as I record them. Um, I can't guarantee when they'll be out. I just record them as I go. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped a little bit. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave some comments down below if you guys like this video. If you guys want to see more tutorials, more of anything, let me know in the comments. I will.